Welcome to the 5-Minute Success Blueprint, an inspirational destination where it is our mission to motivate, educate, and provide success tools for life, home, and business. It is our desire that these wisdom nuggets will take you from where you are now to where you ought to be. Here is your host, best-selling author, African Oscar-winning screenwriter, filmmaker, behavioral health and transformation interventionist, your vision midwife, the princess of suburbia, a sentimental nurse practitioner, Dr. Princess Fumi Hancock. Hello, 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 everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all my friends from all over the world. For those who do not know me yet, my name is Dr. Princess Fumi Hancock. I'm a nurse practitioner turned filmmaker, an author, a speaker, and of course, a behavioral health interventionist. Um, on this daily five-minute segment, my goal is to share with you quick tips, tools, and yes, wisdom nuggets uh, you can use to instantly discover, ignite, launch, and live your passion fearlessly. Uh, in this uh, short minutes with you, my mission is to use this platform to reveal secrets to transforming and unleashing your inner star power by adapting some simple steps into your daily activities. Now, what is my topic today? Uh, I want to try something a little bit different. Um, today is Wednesday, and of course, uh, I want to call this the Warrior Wednesday. Those who are already following me on my blog, yourinnau.com, of course, you know that I have something called the Warrior Wednesday. And so I want to be able to share this with you also on uh, my podcast. So, of course, you all know that this is the five minute success blueprint. The topic for today, today is Warrior Wednesday, and the topic is, if only he came soon. If only he came soon. I want you to please follow me on this one. Uh, today's failure is a platform for tomorrow's greatness. That is one phrase that came to my mind as I began to study to figure out what I need to share with my listeners today. Um, today's failure is a platform for tomorrow's greatness. Have you ever felt frustrated? Have you ever felt overwhelmed and in disarray about a situation in your life where you wished and thought if only God had intervened soon enough, your loved one would not have died? If only God had intervened soon enough, the business or the dream you were trying to make happen would not have collapsed? If only he had come soon enough, things would not have turned out the way he did. Lord, if only, Lord, if only, Lord, if only, Lord, if only. Now, these are the things that are, does have happened to me. Many are afraid to admit this, but there have been times in my life where I just didn't understand the initial outcome of a promise I knew God had deposited into my life or why I put so much work into something or someone and it turns sour. When I was sure it was God who had asked me to do that or forge that relationship. Now, here is a letter from Faye uh, United Kingdom. Dear Princess, for years now, I have tried to understand this faith work that many are talking about. I have believed for many things, though few happened, many are yet to manifest. I have prayed and fasted for a particular breakthrough and it just doesn't seem like God is listening. I am frustrated seeing others live their dream while I wallow in misery, hoping every day will be that day my breakthrough finally came through. I have come to two conclusions, that I am either doing something wrong or God is just too busy answering other more important people's prayers. Help me understand this. With sincere gratitude, Faye, England, UK. Oh my, dear Faye and all the Faye's out there, those who, are simil who have similar stands or perhaps not, we all can perhaps learn from Faye's uh, situation. Faye, here is today's spiritual exploration for you. I need you and everyone out there to join me in this scriptural verse. John eleven thirty nine. John eleven thirty nine. 39. It says, Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, 
by this time there is a bad odor for he has been there for four days imagine a loved one gravely ill your family members prayed and fasted and at the end of the day the loved one dies how do you reconcile this now imagine a dream you have nursed for long you have pumped all that you had in it prayerfully considering your path pushing forward because you really believed you were meant or you were made to solve that problem through your innovative idea and at the end of the day things did not happen the way you envisioned now imagine a relationship you were truly dedicated to building knowing that this person is who you will live the rest of your life with or go into business with or perhaps you were meant to mentor but then it all ended in painful breakups uh, the story of Lazarus is that of the one that we just read in John 11 he fell gravely ill and his family did all they could to get Jesus attention to visit when he finally got to the town he was met with mourners in sackcloth there were much wailing and turmoil many probably did not even understand what Jesus was doing as he walked amongst them examining their countenances I can imagine all the murmuring and some saying what is Jesus doing here did he realize that man was dead Lazarus is now dead some even said it to his face don't you see don't you know that Lazarus has been dead for four days when we ended when we needed you you did not show up when we needed you you did not show up what could you possibly do now that his body is decaying here was Jesus' response to the people. How could they have doubted the Father? How could they have doubted that he did not hear them? How could they have doubted that he knew exactly what had happened and that he was still the same person who had performed much miracles before Lazarus' death? But that God may be glorified. And that he Jesus fulfills his promise he called out to Lazarus and commanded him to come forth from underneath the grave and immediately the stones covering the mouth of the tomb where Lazarus was buried were pushed back and Lazarus came out while we may not understand why things take the shape that they take and why we may not understand why it takes forever or it seemed to take forever for God to answer our prayers he has heard us the very first time we made our request often the answers are waiting for us to fully align with his words be ready to receive it having the right attitude to sustain the answer here is my wisdom nugget for you today take the limits of God take the limits of his power he is God who answers our prayers and because he sees the future more than we do he answers the way he knows it will eventually benefit us he is always on time God is always on time therefore today's failure is a platform for tomorrow's greatness until next time be inspired be motivated be of sentimental value and of course be authentic in all you do please do check out my blog at your subscribe to this podcast because this is very significant if you love this podcast please go to Spreaker and subscribe to the five minutes success blueprint and of course I'm now on Periscope yay I'm on Periscope uh, you can google me and search for me as the princess of suburbia until next time be good to yourself bye for now thank you for joining us on the five minute success blueprint where we encourage you to live life full and leave it empty with your host dr princess fumi hancock a nurse practitioner turned filmmaker behavioral health and transformation interventionist and a life coach mentor to many across the globe desiring to make a change in one's life is just half the battle taking deliberate strides to change one's situation will ultimately yield great results we hope that you have gained some valuable lessons on today's show please join us next time when we bring you another exciting episode of the five minute success blueprint until next time live life with intent